Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what time you are watching this video. My name is Marcos, and I'm going to be your paint instructor today. Now, I'm going to be going over two things with you. I'm going to be going over warm and cool colors really quickly, and I'm also going to go over the basics of landscape drawing slash painting. Now, if you have a crayon, if you have color pencil, if you have watercolors, all those things are great. I'll be using acrylic paints. Um, if you only have a pen and paper or pencil and paper, that's totally cool as well. Okay, Just remember the things that I spoke to you about dealing with the warm and cool colors and you'll be great. Now, we're going to start out with warm and cool. So um, a cool color, okay, the one that we're going to be using today is going to be blue. Right, so I'm going to actually just use my large brush here. I have some blue back here. I'm gonna dip my brush lightly into the water. This helps kind of move the paint along. And you can see that I have my primary colors here. I have red, blue, yellow. I also have white and black if I need it. So what I'm gonna do here, is just gonna be really quickly, is just kind of paint some blue for my sky. So right in the bottom, you can see how I have my yellow. A little bit of a touch of that green there, but that's okay. And for now, for what we want to do, it's pretty good. So you kind of see how it's kind of going from a warm to cool color here, okay? So that's our little warm and cool colors with our blue going from our green and ending with our yellow on the bottom. Now, this is a landscape painting, and the other thing that I want to do is add a horizon line. Now, what a horizon line is, is just like imagine if you are at the beach and you're looking out into the water, right? Uh, where the water and sky meets, that's called a horizon line, okay? So, in this case, I'm actually going to use my other brush, medium size brush here. And in this case, let's just use red. I'm just I'm not going to worry about making it realistic. I just wanted to add some color there. So I'm going to grab some red, since that's one of my primary colors. And I think where my blue and green meets, I think that's a perfect place to add our horizon line. Now, if you're using any other medium, that's totally cool. If you don't want to use red, you could use black or any other color that you want, or even a dark green will be nice. So I'm going to be adding my horizon line here. So this is where my sky and land meets. Now we have a couple of things when it comes to dealing with our landscape. Now we have a couple of elements, okay? We have what's called a background, a foreground, and middle ground, okay? Now what that means is that the foreground is something that's most closest to you. Middle ground is just what it means, something in the middle, and background means all the way back, far, far back. Now, I'm going to clean my brush just slightly. And in this case, I'm going to go from our background, middle ground, and then foreground. So in our background, since we have the sky, I think it might be kind of cool to add some clouds. Now, you can make the clouds any way that you want. Okay? So this is just kind of indicating our background. So you can see how I'm making some nice little fluffy clouds in the sky, and just kind of filling that in really quickly for you guys. Now, since my paint is white, it's not going to stay perfectly white, but I think I like the way that that looks. It kind of shows you our background. Now we have a middle ground. Now, I think it might be kind of cool to put it like maybe a little house in the middle ground. So that's something that's really close to you, but something like that's um, a little bit further back, but not all the way back where the clouds are. And I'm going to be using our small brush for that. And once again, I'm still going to use red. And I'm going to make a little house in our middle ground. So I think a house, maybe right over here would be good. So I'm just going to make something really simple. Something you can as well. So now I have 
my little house. Maybe make a little walkway. So like I said, if you guys are drawn, this is perfectly um, good. And you can make the house any way that you want as well. Now the last thing that we have is our what? Our foreground, that's right. So that's what's most closest to you. So once again, in this case, I wanna actually make a um, tree. So I'm gonna clean my brush off just really quickly. And since I already have some yellow and blue together, I'm gonna kinda of just mix them together to make a green. Now you can see that I'm kinda of mixing the yellow and blue together to make my green, and that's perfect. And since this is the closest thing, I'm going to make sure it's going to start all the way up front here. So I'm gonna make our little trunk. And I'm making the uh, base a little bit wider just for our uh, roots. And I'm going to make kind of like the leaves. So I'm just going to almost make like a nice puffy cloud just like we did above. And I'm just going to be using green for that just like we did before. So a nice big puffy cloud. And I could fill that in. And this is just a quick sketch. So it's okay that colors blend and move together. Perfect. So we have in our foreground, our tree, which is the closest to you. We have our middle ground, which we have a little house over here. And our background, we have some clouds. Now what this does is to help create depth in our images. Okay? So you can use that technique anytime you want. If you're making little characters and you have a cool background, just remember those three steps. You have a horizon line. You have a foreground, you have a middle ground, and you have a background. Okay. So you guys did great. Thank you so much for joining me today.